well, I have fine thin hair and I've struggled with it all my life. And now as I get older, I'm 52, I've, I've been to the dermatologist and I have a form of alopecia and it's related to hormones and stress. Connie Snyder is a brave, compassionate woman who wants to help others through her own journey searching for a hair loss solution. I wanted something that would not damage my hair. You know, if it was going to damage my hair, it's not for me. Clipping extensions, gluing extensions, they're going to pull on my fine hair, and I did not want that. That's why Connie is trying to find out if thin, thick hair topper is a deal or a dud. For more than two months, she experimented with this synthetic hair product wearing it out and about. Hey, it is about 8.30 at night, and I am going to go in food line with the topper on, and we'll see what kind of reaction I get. And courageously documenting the process. Hi, it's Connie. I am at Drive-In Church, and this is my first outing wearing the topper. She has friends, family, and complete strangers what they thought about her new hairdo. I honestly would have not have noticed that it wasn't her real hair. And Connie says it feels like real hair, but of course it isn't. So we're going to put this clip right here. You see how she puts it on. The thin hair thick topper uses a stretchable band that interlocks with three combs. There are no clips that might damage your natural hair. Your band and you put it underneath. It wasn't immediate, but Connie says it also wasn't that hard to get the hang of putting on the topper. When buying the product, a consultant helps you choose the right color and style. And you have it all mixed in here together. Connie wore the topper as much as she could to really give it a try. I had it on for about four hours and one of the things that I've noticed is that it's riding up in the back and there is a spot in the back where I'm certain you can see the band coming through. She asked her hairstylist, Jennifer, for some advice, and they decided to curl the topper's hair to match Connie's. She has the, the curling iron with all the fancy, you know, the temperatures and everything, and she came and helped me out. Curling that synthetic hair fixed the problem and gave Connie the look she wanted, and others noticed. And I passed one of the guys who, who works with us, and he said hey to me. He was, you know, away from me, like across the street, and he said, I like your hair. <laughs> and I thought that was really sweet because he didn't know. Her husband likes it too, but Connie wants to make sure you understand something. I mean, it's not gonna, the first time is not going to come out model worthy. You have to work at it and you have to accept yourself and you have to play with it a little bit and be patient. Be patient with yourself. So you would say deal and dud? Yeah, deal, yes, because I, I mostly a deal. Mostly a deal because it does, you know, I mean, I think this looks... I think it looks pretty good. And you can see it in these before and after pictures. Whether wearing her natural hair or the thin hair thick topper, Connie's courage shines through. Melissa Painter, Fox 8 News.